What's up, y'all? So, I got some water boiling for this. We've had this for probably a year, a year and a half. Um, it doesn't expire till November 2048. <laughs> and this is Mountain House Savor the Adventure Freeze Dried Beef Stew. So I was just kind of curious. Um, as to actually what it would taste like. It says it's got potatoes, sodium, cooked beef, salt, carrot, green peas, corn oil with spices. And it tells you what spices they have it, like garlic and all that. Um, so it says open a package and tear the notch, remove and discard the oxygen absorber. Carefully add two cup boiling water. Stir carefully and close zipper. And then let stand eight to nine minutes. Stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. I had to laugh because the little girl, my kids come up with some funny, um, but true. You made me think. Um, questions like, why don't they just get ready to eat meals, right? Because they look like they're out enjoying themselves. Um, they say, you know, the freeze dry things were for survival. Like people, in the, you know, military. Um, but, you know, you got to get that can of sterno, I guess. and Or build a fire to boil the water. You got to have pots and stuff. So, that was a very good question. <laughs> they had other things like, it's been so long. It's been, they had like spaghetti and meatballs and pasta and, and things like that. And this comes from Albany, or Oregon. Um, so yeah, y'all, um, come back and see, you know, um, what we're looking at here. Alright, so I had to find out what the little girl was doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to tear. I want you to see what it's like. Kind of scared, y'all. Um, my stomach bothered me, so I ain't going to be messing with it. Oh my goodness. See, this is what they talking about that oxygen absorber. Then they said if you forget, don't worry, you can still eat, eat the food. Smell it. Oh, good. Smell it. it barely has a smell to me. Maybe it's because I'm. Like yeah, like oodles and noodles. So, see, they got the potatoes and the um, carrots and the peas and the beef. I was just always curious about this. Look how hard that's the beef. So it says two cups hot water, so I'm gonna have to come back and um, I'm gonna have to come back and do the other cup because I just got a cup. I thought it was more than less than that. Alright, y'all, I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, so this is. dangerous y'all you gotta be careful when y'all do this type thing now if I had a teapot it'd be easier all right this is the other cup y'all so I guess it's cooking it and we gotta wait eight to nine minutes and it's a ziploc bag on here so we gotta close it up So, 
248. So would that be 256? So we'll see you guys in eight minutes. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to read y'all their little statement. Um, made with tender beef, potatoes, and carrots, you will be looking forward to this hearty comfort classic as you push on through your adventure. Our convenient just add water prep in the in the pouch means that you have more time to do what you love without the hassles of cooking and cleaning. <laughs> Clean up. The durable lightweight pouches are easy to pack and carry. Dozens of classic recipe options give you the variety and comfort you crave as you set out in the morning or at the end of a long day. How do we do it? We use only the highest quality ingredients and cook our meals the old-fashioned way, allowing the flavors to blend naturally. The result is a home-cooked flavor no matter where you are. Mountain House Adventure Meals have been trusted by outdoor enthusiasts for over 45 years. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... It, it's like you just made such a good point, little girl. <laughs> I mean, if you're going out there for the pleasure of it, then I was in, say, people have their little motor homes or, you know, the RV or whatever. They probably cook their own meals anyway or cook cook the meals and um all right guys so let me see how i'm gonna do this age because i'm gonna do this thing too i got a clear bowl so curious about this though it's a mouse to stir and enjoy right out the pouch hmm Oh gosh. Ew. Um, I don't know, y'all. Huh? Ew. Should thicken. I don't know. Well, that's what I say. You gotta stir. It's fine. Look at you saying no already. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. That. It kind of reminds me right. when my Aunt Lisa had um, her dog named Duke. Dog food? That do look. Well, Grandma used to um, cut up real food. Like you know, pieces of real beef and stuff, mm -hmm. and put them in it. Um, I think he he had gravy train. I think that's what they called it. See y'all. Oh shoot! It looks like it's thickening up though. Oh okay. She is not here for it, y'all. And she loves beef too. Right. Oh, I get. <laughs> I'll still try it. I'm just going to get every element on there. I don't even want to get too much, like I said, y'all, because I don't feel good. I know you have to see it in my face. Surprisingly, good flavor. Really? You wanna try it? I left a spoon. Taste the broth first. The broth. The broth. The liquid. Yeah, I don't like broth. It tastes like the vegetables. It, it tastes like the ingredients of a chick, chicken pop, beef pot pie that you oh. buy in the freezer. Okay. It ain't gonna go to waste. It's gonna taste bad. Oh, it's cool. 
Yeah. Okay. It do taste like a Popeye. Yeah, that's exactly. It tastes like the feeling of a Popeye, right? Oh. All right, I'm going to come back with another one real quick. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.